back to Gingerific, the most savage mom channel on YouTube. On the community tab, I asked you guys if I should call Lizzie and Carter and see if I can get to the bottom of what's going on. There is so much drama, and you guys know how much I hate drama. I think we need to get to the bottom of this. I think I need to give Liz and Carter a call, but let me give a quick recap on what exactly is happening and where we are right now. off Liz announces that she has a crush we all know that okay and then she drags us along and along and along which is where I come in I was trying to solve it for everybody but then she announces that it is Carter she tells Carter he thinks it's a prank well of course he would she pranks him so I don't know why she could like be so surprised but the key to that part is this you guys this is what Carter's perspective was before he got the card and he basically lays out why he's upset with her. Basically, I'm upset with Liz for a couple of reasons. The first reason, or the first thing that she did that made me upset is she sent me a text. She told me to come over, so I came over. We were hanging out, and this wasn't like on a vlog or anything. Like we were just hanging out, as, like for fun. And uh, we were sitting there. We kind of had like a heart to heart. Well, I told her like event, like the conversation went, and I told her. Uh, not to tell anyone this, but uh, I think you're really cute. That's what I told her. And uh, it turns out she had a hidden camera the whole time. And uh, so not only did she not tell anybody, but she posted that. She filmed it, posted it on her channel, and got like a million views. I don't even know a million people. And she basically told the entire world that I told her not to tell anybody. Do you guys see how upset Carter is? He's so upset right now. And if you look back on their previous pranks, he's pretty lighthearted about it and takes it as a pretty good joke. But this was not the same. I think that Carter was upset because he actually really likes Liz back. It's the only explanation as to why he's so upset that she told him that she liked him and he thought it was a prank. It wouldn't make sense that he would be so upset about that, right? You guys, I wanna go over the video that Carter posted with you guys before uh, we move on with um, calling Liz and Carter and everything. Yeah, let's just jump right into it. This is what I'm talking about. This video was just posted today, you guys, and it's really sad. Like, I feel like I can feel how sad Carter feels. I'm sorry about the background noise. We have like somebody working. I feel like Carter just feels so sad. Just to catch you up, Liz gave Carter a note, and in that note, it basically says that she really likes him. She gave him a, a plant or like a flower thing, and the card was like, here, I'll just show you what the card said. Oh my gosh, Liz? Oh yeah, did you get this for me? No, I got this for Carter. I got him flowers. Oh, well, it's a plant. But isn't it cute? There's a little one and a big one. The plant, super cute. There's a big one and a little one. Like Carter's way taller than Liz, so I feel like that kind of like represents them. But this is the part about the card that I was talking about. Okay, I put the plant in the back, and then I got him candy, and I got him a card, and it kind of goes with the plant. Love grows and grows. You love him. Um. Uh, as a friend, but then I definitely like also like him like more than a friend. But uh, it says every shared experience brings us closer together. Every struggle makes us even stronger. This is every day I love you more and more. But I'm gonna change it to like every day I like more. like you more and more. See how much thought she's putting into this note. Like I feel like she just really put so much thought into it because she really, really, really cares. And like she crossed out love and wrote like and stuff like that. Like she really thought it through and this is Carter's reaction to it. I've read this note like 10 more times and I don't know, man, I'm just like nervous because if this isn't a prank and she really does like me, then I feel so bad because I haven't been responding to her texts. I haven't been, I've been like ignoring her and all this stuff and she told me that she has a crush on me and that she likes me and gave me a hug and I just walked out. He did walk out, you guys. He literally walked out. So of course he feels horrible. Now that he thinks that it's like not a prank, like of course he would feel horrible. Carter's like the nicest guy in the world. Like it really like makes me so sad to see him like this because he's really the nicest person ever and would never want to hurt anyone. And even if he didn't like her, even if he doesn't have a crush back, like, he would never want to hurt her feelings like that. I mean, at this point, whether he has a crush or not, I, I like, don't even care right now. I just, it just makes me so sad to see my friends like this. So, if this is all real, I feel so bad. And I don't know what to do, man. Like, I want to go and talk to her and show her that I found found the note that she gave me. But I'm, I'm nervous because I, I just feel so bad. 
I don't know about you guys, but I can definitely feel how sincere Carter is right now. And I just really want her to understand that Carter does like her, even as a friend. Like you can have a crush on someone if they don't crush back, like that's okay. Like maybe he'll come around or maybe like this is like, maybe he never thought about it before. And then, and now he's like, actually I have always liked Liz. You know, you just don't know. They've been friends for so long. Like sometimes it takes a while for love to grow. And so I just, I see them going through this and it's painful. But I really have a feeling that in the end, they're supposed to be friends. They're supposed to like hang out. And, and if they do like each other, that would be amazing. Don't you guys think? I mean, if they had a crush on each other, I just feel like as their friend, that would be so awesome. I think that Liz really made a few mistakes when she was telling Carter. And let me tell you why. Liz is one of my besties, okay? We have so much fun together. We went to Hawaii together. We went out there for the 4th of July. They come over like, like several times a year from uh, Virginia. We love having them. I feel like I know her and Carter both really well. They're great. Those two are great friends and they've been friends for so long. And so now she has feelings for him. And I think that she made a couple of mistakes. I think the first mistake that she made is she shouldn't have kept it a secret from the people that know both of them. Because if I would have known that it was Carter, I could have gone to Carter and just been like, hey Carter, this is not a joke, which I hope to do today. I hope Carter takes my call. I know he's super upset about everything that's going on but honestly I feel like I'm the one person that can help Carter and Liz come to terms with what's going on because maybe there's some trust issues as far as like it being a prank maybe he just doesn't know if she's being serious because Liz is a prankster and she's really funny and fun and so maybe he doesn't know that she's actually being serious so I can actually relate to that a lot of people think that I'm just a big jokester all the time and I'm never serious and so I get that that's a common mistake so I I feel like Liz definitely could use some support right now. I think that it would have been better for Liz just to be open with everyone, but she did it her own way. And when you like someone, you guys know how it is. You're scared and you're uncomfortable with it. And I think that's pretty natural. But the cat is out of the bag. Um, everyone knows that Carter is Liz's crush. And so now the key to this whole thing is getting Carter on the same page and either seeing if he likes her and trying to figure that out or communicating and helping him communicate with Liz or just being a good friend to them. That's my whole goal in this whole thing is just being a good friend. And I know Liz is mad and I feel like if we could just talk about it, it would be okay. But I don't know. I can't force her. I can't make her talk to me. It's just got to be her on her own terms. So let's just give Liz a call and see if she answers. And if she does, hopefully it goes well. Okay, you guys, let's see how this goes. Oh, Come on, Liz, pick up the phone. Come on, come on, come on. The wireless customer you are calling is not available. Mm. <sighs> she didn't answer. That just makes me so nervous. You know what I mean, you guys? Oh, she just texted me and just said, hey, I'm busy. Okay, um. You guys, what should I say? Tell me down in the comments right now. What do I say to her? She did text me though. That's good. She didn't just like totally ignore me. I'm just gonna say, okay, call me when you can. We really need to talk. So Liz didn't answer. Do you guys think I should call Carter right now? I think I should call him. What do you think he's gonna say? Do you think he's mad at me? You guys, have you seen anything in his videos or on his social media, like on Instagram or anything where he's mad at me? I don't think he is, but then again, he hasn't called me. Tell me down in the comments, you guys, if he's mad. I'm gonna try to call him. I think I am, I'm just gonna do it. Okay, let's just try this. <gasps> Maybe she's saying something back. Okay, that means that she saw the message at least, so that's good. Wait, um, okay. <gasps> you guys, she sounds so mad. Oh my gosh, she sounds so mad. Okay, what do I say? Uh, I hope. You're not mad, still, I wanna help. Is that good? Should I say that? I'm gonna say that. I want to help you. Okay, let's see if she texts back. I just want the best for her and for Carter, you know? She's not texting back. Okay, let's try Carter and see if he answers. Okay, you guys, hopefully this works. Hello? Hey, Carter, it's Ginger. Hey, 
How how you doing? I'm doing well. Good. So I just like saw your recent video. All of me and my friends on my channel are just like really worried about you and Liz. And I just wanted to make sure that you were okay. Oh yeah, thanks for calling. I'm doing okay. Yeah? Do you feel yeah. like everything's like going okay? Or is there something I can do to like help you or anything? I don't know. I mean, things are kind of tough, but I'm trying to work through the best that I can. I'm planning on talking to Liz to kind of like clear the air a little bit. Okay. Well. Yeah, that's really good. I mean, I feel like I definitely was trying to like just kind of mess around with her a little bit and it kind of got too far and I think she's mad at me and stuff. But I just feel like yeah. if she would have told me first, I could have like called you right away and just been like, it's not a prank, Carter. You know what I mean? But anyway, uh, so I was just trying to help out. And if there's anything I can do, just like let me know. You know what I mean? And I'm going to try to call her and, and kind of like clear the air with her too. And I, I just want what's best for you guys. Whatever I can do, you just let me know, okay? Yeah, thanks. I mean, I know you and Liz are such great friends, so I appreciate the call. Well, if there's something we can do, like let me know, okay? Okay, sounds good. All right, we'll see you later. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, you guys. <laughs> that was so awesome. I cannot believe he answered. Okay, he's not mad at me at all, which is great. So he's gonna clear the air with Liz. I hope that goes really good. And I'm gonna clear the air with Liz. I hope my phone dinged like someone texted me, but it's just some, my sister or something. What do you guys think that I could have done better? What do you think that I did that was bad? I mean, I've just been trying to help and just wanted to be okay. This is the thing, you guys. So much has happened. Liz has referenced me in her videos and so has Carter. I'm sure that Liz is mad at me. I am sure that she is having a really hard time. My biggest fear is that she feels alone because me and Carter are like her two friends. She has like Carter's cousin, Kelsey, but I can't imagine that she'd be able to like talk to Kelsey the way that she can talk to me and Carter. My biggest fear is that Liz is alone and that she's going through this alone. It would really mean a lot to me if you guys would go over to her channel and just tell her to call me. Tell her to call me back because I can help her. I can talk to Carter. I can be there for both of them because I know them the best. Like, I know both of them and I just want to help them at this point. Like, all games aside and all funniness aside, I think at this point it comes down to friends being good friends. That's all I want to be for Carter and Liz and I don't want her going through this alone. This is a big thing in her life and I want to be the friend that she needs and I want to be the friend that Carter needs and I feel like I have definitely made mistakes through this whole thing and I just want to make it right but I can't do that unless she calls me it would just like mean a lot to me if you guys you know would help me out and let's just get Liz to call me and get Liz to talk to Carter and that would be like the best thing but this you guys this is the part that just makes my heart break that makes me so stressed out that Liz is so heartbroken. In Carter's video that he uploaded today, I mean, just watch this. This is so sad. Look how sad Liz looks. And, um, Martha, kind of the candy that you gave me, that you got for me. Um, yeah, that's what I got. Yeah, I got that one. Yeah, so I read through the letter and uh, I want to tell you something. You do? Yeah. Can I come inside? Let him in, Liz. Let him in. Look at how sad she looks. Guys. Let him in, Liz. Let him in. Can just be real quick? I just... Fine. You know, like the past few days have been kind of crazy and... I think it's been a mistake. I really need to tell you something. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is he doing this right now? <gasps> okay. Um, yeah. Um. Okay. No way. <gasps> oh my gosh. They didn't even let Hunter in. You guys, Liz looks so sad. Oh my word. I don't know what to do. You guys, tell me down in the comments what I should do and how I should help her and how I should help Carter. Carter's definitely not mad at me, which is a great relief, but I really need your guys' help getting to Liz, okay? All right, you guys, we'll see you in the next vlog.